celebrating their formula for success. 17 students from May River High School came in second place at the South Carolina State Science Olympiad over the weekend. When we got second place, we were, we were laughing, we were yelling, we were applauding. It was crazy because last year, we really didn't expect to get third as like the first May River Science Olympiad team. So to get second this year, like we're ready to try and win next time. The students, showing off some of their winning experiments at school today, competed in 15 events. Some were taking written and oral tests, while others were testing the experiments they built. We had to build a helicopter that could be powered by a rubber band and a crank. And essentially we could use whatever material we wanted as long as it was over three grams. We chose to use balsa wood because it's one of the thinnest types of wood. And then we used wiring for our spokes right here. And we have mylar coming in. So what you do is you put the rubber band here, you wind it, and then you let it go and it's supposed to shoot up into the air. I did the thermodynamics competition at Science Olympiad. Uh, so what we had to do was build an insulator uh, that would keep a beaker of hot water uh, at as high temperature as you could. Uh, and then you also had to be able to accurately predict that temperature uh, after 30 minutes. So for the tower event, we had to build a 60 centimeter tall balsa wood tower. And it's supposed to hold a bucket of sand from the bottom. So a chain starts here and goes through the entire tower to loop onto the bucket. And then our score is determined by the amount of sand we held divided by the weight of the tower. So the tower is supposed to be as light as possible while holding as much weight as possible. Judges score each team in the category they compete in, then all the scores are totaled, resulting in the overall final team score. Students have been working on their projects since November. The Science Olympiad was held at Newberry College. At May River High School, Ron Lopes, Buford County School District.